Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Retro CG TV. Today, we will take a closer look on how scientists managed to create a biological robot which can walk around in a petri dish and even heal itself when it gets injured. But first, like and subscribe to our channel so you will get updated about tech breakthroughs every week. Researchers in the US have created the first living machines. It all began with amazing qualities of stem cells. Stem cells are unspecialized cells that have ability to develop into different cell types. The researchers scrapped living stem cells from quarks, fertilized eggs, and left them to incubate. Then, the research team used a supercomputer that was programmed with an AI evolutionary algorithm to predict which organism would likely display useful tasks such as moving towards a target. After the selection of most promising design, the scientists were attempted to replicate the virtual models with frog skin and heart cells, which were manually joined using microsurgery tools. The heart cells in this bot contract and relax, giving the organism motion. The scientists named their creation Xenobots, as the term Xeno means frog cells. One of the most successful creation has two stumpy legs that propel it along its chest. Another has a hole in the middle that researchers turned into a pouch so it could move around with miniature payloads. Roboticists tend to favor metal and plastic for their strength and durability, but these researchers see benefit in making robots from biological tissue. When damaged, these living robots can heal their wounds, and once their task is done, they fall apart, just as natural organisms decay when they die. Xenobots may have great value. Some speculate they could be used to clean our polluted oceans by collecting microplastics. They can survive almost indefinitely as long as there is a food source around and heal themselves along the way. Similarly, they may be used to enter confined and dangerous areas to scrape toxins or radioactive materials. Xenobots designed with carefully shared pouches might be able to carry drugs into human bodies. Future versions may be built from patients' own cells to repair tissue or target cancers. Being biodegradable, Xenobots would have adjunct technology made from plastic or metal. Conversely, Xenobots raise ethical concerns. They could also be used to hijack life functions for unintended or malicious purposes. Some argue artificially making living things is unnatural. Some call it playing God. More advanced future Xenobots, especially the ones that live longer and reproduce, could potentially malfunction, go rogue, and outcompete other species. Before we get to the conclusion, like and subscribe to our channel so we can bring tech videos to you every week. Xenobots show tremendous potential from increasing human lifespan to clearing microplastics scattered among all the oceans. But there must be inside committee to carefully experiment and test these robots before using them in any kind of open world scenarios. Also, the patents and data used in creating Xenobots must be tightly regulated in order to avoid unintended or malicious application of this technology. You can tell us in the comments below which one of these applications you think Xenobots are likely to thrive on. So that's it for today guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.